。Welcome back to EMC。好，这个是 Brandon， and this is Jason。现在已经两点二十，我们跟人家约两点十五要去签 Sunny 的新车，所以我们现在要去叫他动作快一点，不要浪费时间，叫他不要再运动。对，一天到晚给我运动。走走走。All right, time's up, time's up. Yo， 你们迟到了。是你一直在运动。我一直在运动，没有，我早就准备好了。快点，等 OK， 等你很久了。等我很久，我一直在等你们。哎，你们一人五杯，五个 shot， 自己啦。Tequila， <笑> OK， 所以有美容好了吗？没有，我们准备好了。你说一下今天。All right， everyone， welcome back to EMC。We got a brand new car for you guys to show as a new project car. I can't wait. We're gonna go get it at my friend's place, CE Auto, at his detailing shop. Man， this is going to be a really dope project. So, you know what? 废话不多说了，我们直接走。他们还是要喝五杯 shots. Let's go. A few moments later. Yo, this is my new ride. S63 AMG Coupe. It's the four-liter twin-turbo facelifter version, and ah, oh, this is a badass ride. This is the next project on EMC, and I want to get into all the details and everything. But I'm at my boy's detailing shop, CE Auto. It is a top-end luxury detailing shop. Let's meet my boy Michael. Michael. Hey, how's it going? What's up, bro? 哇，这几天麻烦你们。不会不会不会不会不会，你的新车超帅。哦，谢谢谢谢，对吧？我也超喜欢这台车，真的真的超棒。对啊，四点零双涡轮，我打算要叫它黑武士。真的，我觉得大型 GT 跑车超适合你。对啊，对啊。知道你这边是专门做 detailing， 然后保养啊，然后还有内装，所以。呃，你们帮这个 S 六三做了一些事情。有，我们有做了美容，然后内装的部分啊，有帮你上了皮革的护理，大致上都有都有做保养。OK， 谢谢谢谢。所以大家如果要做 detailing、car wax 或者镀膜的话，你们可以来 C E Auto 的内湖找 Big Mike。All right， 啊。OK， 好 ，Thanks Michael， 谢谢谢谢。All right man， so we got the keys and we got the new EMC keychain, of course, but yeah, you know what? Let, let's check out the interior first. All right, check that out. This is a really, really supple wine red or burgundy interior. When there's not much lighting, it gets a lot darker. But when there's a lot of lighting, when it's sunny outside and everything, this is really bright red. I love the contrast of the red, the carbon fiber, the Alcantara, the red stitching. It's just so supple, it's so luxurious. Let's take a look inside, man. Yo, how gangsta is this? Before I start talking about any of the interior stuff, the design, the options, and all the infotainment system and whatnot, I have to say, CE Auto did an amazing job on the interior. Uh, it looks brand new and it feels so nice right now and it looks so clean. Uh, before when I got the car, I could see that there was, you know, a couple spots here and there and it didn't look as new as I wanted it to be. But this is why you go to a detailing shop, all right? Anyway, let's talk about the interior. So everything is digital. There's two huge screens. This is the dash and this is the, uh, I guess, the infotainment system. This is not touch screen, but you kind of, you know, go through everything either through the toggle or you can kind of, there's a touch screen here that you can swipe. I have not driven a modern Mercedes in a very long time. So I'm still getting used to everything. The ambient lighting is really cool. Uh, another cool thing is that there's a massage option on this chair. I guess I call it a chair because it feels like a massage chair or something, massage seat. I also like these little toggles where you can push out and control the air vents. And this is a very classic design for Mercedes, the circles with the air vents here. 
Everything else is pretty straightforward. The AMG steering wheel, it has the paddles. There is two touchscreen buttons here that you can control everything inside the digital dash. And there's a couple really cool options uh, that are on the left side of the panel here where there's a steering wheel heater, there's lane assist, you know, there's parking assist. Um, there's also a heads up display, which is really, really cool. And there's a car lift and not just the front lift, the whole entire car lifts up a couple centimeters and it goes down. Oh, and then uh, there is the dynamic mode. You can set the, you know, the exhaust, the ESP, your suspension, the tranny, the mode. Uh, you can also just go through comfort, sport. You got sport plus and you have race, which is pretty badass to have on this car. Another thing I love about the interior is the Panamera sunroof. Okay, there's no sunroof, but it's glass and it's see-through. Check this out. That's just hot. Like the whole entire roof, you can see through. I love it. And there's one more really cool thing that I have to show you guys. The windows, okay? There's no pillar here. So this whole entire thing is just open. This is just so cool. So when you're on the outside looking and I'm just driving like a G, I just look like a G. There's enough space for four people, two large adults in the front, maybe two smaller guys in the back. But if you have kids, it's probably perfect. And there's one thing that I really love is when I put my hand here, there's the AMG Falter Bach logo that's imprinted here. It's just so dope. And yeah, you gotta have one of these in these cars. It's comfort, baby. Guys, I know you've been waiting for this. I'm gonna start the car up. Here it is. Ooh, that already sounds pretty good. So this is only in comfort mode. Let's just step on the gas. Okay. I mean, it's okay. There's a little bit of sound. Now let's turn it to sport mode. Okay, it's, it's a little bit bigger. Now sport plus. Ooh, you can actually hear it during idle that it's a little bit louder now. So let's step on it. Ooh. 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 You hear that? There's a little bit cracks and pops. I like that, you know, this it's a little bit. It's not too aggressive. Now let's go in race mode. Oh! Okay, that is awesome. I love it. This is completely stock. This is factory. AMG makes such a great exhaust and whatever they did with the tune, the cracks and the bangs and the pops. Woo! All right, that's enough. Now, let's get to the exterior. Let's get to the mods. Let's show you guys what we got. I already modded this car already, if you can't tell. So I chose black because this was what was on the market. And I think for the price, it is amazing. All right, brand new, it's over 11 million NTD, close to 12 million NTD. And I got this just over 6 million NTD. It had about 25,000 kilometers on it. It is a 2018 and it is the facelift version. So the facelift version has the vertical grill uh, which I think looks so much better than the older grill. And it has a bigger front bumper right here. And it is a little bit lower. I think it looks way more aggressive. I blacked out everything on this car that had silver or aluminum or, you know, the shiny chrome. And uh, I also smoked out the front headlights as well as the rear taillights, which you guys will see. And because it's a facelift version, this also has the newer style headlights. So I'm gonna pop the hood and show you guys what's underneath it. All right, let's see this one man, one engine. Here it is. So this is the one man, one engine, 4.0 twin turbo. Uh, obviously there's a lot of covers on it, you know, with the air boxes and everything. Uh, but right here, handcrafted by Ali Kali. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure. Ali Kalik. 
Kalitka. That's the guy who built the engine. I'm sorry for my bad pronunciation. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys this. Let's get going. All right. I already put a body kit on the car. This is a Darwin Pro carbon fiber front lip matched with the Darwin Pro carbon fiber side skirts, which makes the car a little bit wider. As you can tell, it comes out a lot more and a little bit lower. So it's got that aggressive stance. And I wanna show you guys the rear. The rear has a really nice carbon fiber duck lip style trunk spoiler, uh, which makes it just a little more aggressive. And I think this car needed that. And the rear diffuser and the rear valence. This is where I think it really pops off. The rear valence and the diffuser pops out a little bit. It's way more aggressive now. It's got two strakes right here and there. And, you know, I blacked out the exhaust tips and everything is carbon fiber and also have a carbon fiber trim for the rear vents on the bumper. And you guys really gotta check out the way the OLED lights up and closes. Hold on, check this out. Oh, oh, you see how that closed? That was kind of tight. Now, I'm gonna turn it on. Ooh. I gotta say, I love these little things on this car. I obviously already wrapped all the windows with Greenway Films, all blacked out. Uh, it looks awesome because this car is just blacked out. It's murdered out. And I also put PPF wrap in the front end of the car only. Um, I don't think, you know, I really need it for the sides. Now, what I am gonna do is, I will be changing the wheels. You know, it just doesn't do it for this car. This is a rather big GT. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. I don't know if I'm gonna go 22s because I will be driving this on a daily. And I really don't like the brakes because since I've gotten it, I've had to wash the wheels like every three days. I guess because I do drive this as a daily, so I'm driving it a lot. And with the Cayenne Turbo, it's got the big ass ceramic brakes. There's literally almost no brake dust. But this, man, it's terrible. I don't like it. So this has got to go, and that's got to go. Be on the lookout for that. And I will be doing a lot of power mods because guys, this is the four liter twin turbo. This got so much potential, like so much. This project is going to be one of the most badass super GT projects on the planet. Stay tuned, hope you guys like this vlog. And guys, we're gonna be doing a lot of AMG versus M stuff because once I'm done modding this, I really wanted to pit it against an M8 coupe. So if there are any M8 coupes out there, let me know. We'll get in contact with you because I really wanna do that. The S63 Coupe versus the M8 Coupe. That's gonna be badass. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new project, what you think about my new car. I know that it is a complete different path from the 992 GT3, but this is gonna be a project. This is gonna be a build, and I can't wait for you guys to follow along. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.